Welcome, Rotologists. We're here in Zimbabwe in the middle of nowhere. We've got about 100 kilometers in every single direction of game reserve, 200 kilometers to the nearest town, 500 kilometers to the nearest city, and we're at Manipal's National Park. So, last time we talked, I told you about Kruger, and at Kruger, we spent 55 minutes driving, five minutes looking at game. Here, totally different. Here, you, everywhere you go, there's just animals as far as you can see. Right behind me, got a whole herd of elephant here. There's a buffalo in the water as well. Some monkeys drinking over there. Behind, in the distance, there's some impala. There's some kadoo over there. We've got animals absolutely everywhere. So Manipools is famous for three reasons. That is, it's remote, how remote and wild it is. There's about enough space for 150 people here. At the moment there's probably less than 50 people here. And it's a huge reserve, so, you know, it's hardly anyone here. It's famous for the amount of game that's going on, especially all the hippo, crocodile. So there's dozens of these animals everywhere. You see hippos everywhere, you see crocs everywhere. As well as all the normal things, you see impala everywhere. Buffalo, heaps of people. And then the third thing it's famous for, which is why we came here, behind the camera is because you can actually walk around the park without a guide and just wander wherever you want. The camps, there's no fences or anything either. So, what are we looking at? Monkeys and buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> so, at our, our campsite, we've almost every night we've had elephant, buffalo and hippo come within 5-10 meters of where we were sleeping. Almost every single night. So, they're absolutely everywhere. What else have we seen here? Well. We've seen wild dog quite a lot, which is good because we haven't seen wild dog and it's actually a rare thing to see. We've seen the same pack four times. We've seen them sleeping, we've seen them walking, we've seen them play fighting, which is very good. And we've seen one of the wild dogs trying to kill an impala, which was uh, pretty <laughs> heart pounding. So what happened is we're sitting in a car, we weren't paying that much attention, Adriana and I talking, and then we turn around I turn around, get out of the car, and I'm like, Adriana, Adriana, come out. And there's one wild dog chasing after this impala. And they're just running and they're running and they're running and we're watching and watching. And they come to this pool. And they start running around the pool. And the wild dog is slowly catching up to the impala. The impala is jumping and leaping and weaving. And then suddenly does this huge jump and goes and splashes straight into the pond it was running around. The wild dog looks down, sees it in the water, and just starts walking off. It's over, the impala is safe. But then the water at the other end of the pond just starts bubbling and turning. And we realize there's a crocodile swimming at full speed straight towards the impala. So the impala sees this as well and starts swimming toward the land. The crocodile is going faster and faster. The impala is slowly, slowly going to land. And both Adriana and I, it's our hearts like pounding, like what's going to happen? Holy shit, it's like jaws or something you can't see. Kruger and we saw a kill and a lion and they were like 150 meters away and you're looking through your binoculars. No, we were like 15 meters away, 10 meters away at first. around the sun, which was amazing enough. But then kind of people went off and they'd seen it for a while, but we stayed. We stayed until we had to go back. And the lions eventually got up and they walked right into the middle of the road. So they were like two meters from us. And we were like, we're not like hiding in a car. We're standing outside the car. And these lines like two meters away from us, which is kind of scary, kind of cool, a bit of both. And eventually the lions actually walked straight past our car within a meter of us, which was amazing to see something up close. Uh, we've also just walked around, which we really enjoyed. We've probably spent four or five hours every day just walking. We haven't caught any lions, but we've found the wild dog. We've tried to do lion tracking, listening to sounds and watching the footprints in the sand. But everywhere we go, there's heaps of game everywhere and it's amazing. Park I've been to. I've been to many. I've been to many. 